Over 20 million Ugandans depend on banana for their family feeding. Banana is a quick yielding crop supported by the abundance of rainfall in the region. Pests and diseases that affect crop yields contribute greatly to food security. This comes amidst a bulging population. Uganda currently has 37 million people and the number is expected to rise to 41 million by 2022. Food availability then becomes a key factor as the population continues to grow. We cannot talk about food security without looking at the crop and the farmer. Banana in Uganda has been greatly affected by banana bacterial wilt for one decade, leading to billions in losses. Farmers have struggled and continue to struggle to control the disease, spending most of their time in the field looking for affected plants so that they can uproot and burn them in an attempt to control the banana bacteria wilt. Different methods have been used to control the wilt. Breaking the male buds, uprooting the infected plants, sterilizing planting implements with fire or jig. <laughs> Time and money spent on keeping away bacterial wilt from banana plantation could be saved if the genetically modified wilt resistant banana variety developed by Ugandan scientists was availed to farmers. Remember Frank Abadja, Gaba in Zo Okun and Yola Brunji, Nevanji Giriza, Nizo Kugenda Nature, Okubikidis and Bikidis, Bobimpa and Gambifuna Bidita, Nayet TV CBT Kamuno Soka Kukolachi, Quite a Giriza. This genetically modified variety can only be availed after enactment of the biosafety law. Uganda's parliament recently passed a biosafety bill meant to ensure safe application of biotechnology. The bill gives us confidence that our products can find their way to the farmers. And of course that gives us more energy. We, we know that our products can now become useful to the farmers. The biosafety bill will come to force when the president assents to it, only after the assent will farmers have access to the banana that does not wilt. <laughs> <laughs>